Today, I'm going to tie a realistic beeping caddis that won second place in the youth division of Kelly Gallup's Kill the Corona contest. This fly was designed for the contest, not for fishing, but I'm very interested to see if it does catch fish though, and I'll take it out fishing sometime. So let's get to tying one. For thread, I'm using UTC 140 in black, and I'm going to start the thread where the case is going to end, and then where the little caddis is going to be poking out. So for the case, I'm going to use a bunch of different colors of deer hair. This is a sample. You can see how it has this nice mottled effect. I mixed a reddish color, a tannish color, a black, and a darker brown. And I just have a bunch, so take a small pinch and we're gonna wrap all the way back to where it starts to bend and tie that in, let it spin. And we're gonna take this bead and we're gonna smash that back into that hair and that's gonna push it back. It's like a DIY hair packer. So that's stack number one. We'll wrap a little bit in front of that. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that all the way up the hook to where I started that thread. Now that we have all of our stacks done, I'm gonna take my thread up in front and I'm gonna throw it finish in there. Because I'm gonna switch threads. Trim that off. And now I'm gonna go ahead and trim this into a little caddis. Now that we have this case done, I'm gonna start my thread, and now I'm using UTC 70 denier to try and build up as little bulk as possible. And I'm using it in a fluorescent green, because I'm building a nice little green segment of deer hair neck. Now I'm gonna build just a little bit of the green caddis that's coming out of the case. Then I'm gonna jam that bead back into it. And then I'm gonna trim it as short as I can. Making sure that it's much shorter than the case. Now that we have that first little part, the cat is done now we're gonna build the black head so I'm gonna switch again switching to UTC 70 denier in black now just like I would a stone fly whenever I do like biot legs or something I'm gonna put a tiny bit of dubbing on my thread put that in front it's a little bit too much and now for the legs I'm going to use some pheasant tail and I'm just going to take one strand and this is important you have to take one strand and pull it off and it'll be like all curly and craziness. But there is one little, like it looks like a little foot of white. 
I, I trim it right there. And I'm gonna tuck these legs up close in the body, but you can like splay them out like this one, if you'd like. Make them look all crazy like it's trying to get out of its case. I'm just gonna tie that in on the bottom. Now I'm going to repeat that process and put one on the other side. And you should have two little legs. And now Caratus has six. But there's no reason to put six on here. So I'm just going to put four. The one that I sent to the contest, I spent a really long time on it. And it looks a lot better than this one. And it did have six. But this, I'll show you a picture of my setup. I have like two inches of space in each direction. For recording. Put a little bit of dubbing on there. And then I'm going to wrap. Uh, pretty close to the bead and I'm gonna put two more legs on so that's four little legs they're not perfect or anything and um, the case is pretty rough but trust me it's a lot more realistic than what I normally tie Lip finish. Ah. Trim off the thread. And that's a very cool little fly, I think. Not designed for fishing, but designed for the contest. But I'm going to take it fishing sometime. Hopefully that'll be out soon after this. And see if I can catch fish on it. I'm sure I can. But I'll tie another one that looks really nice. And I'll put it up. Probably be the thumbnail as well. But that's it. Thanks for watching.